Okay, so this is the moment when I was talking about when I did the last video and the time when we will come on to finally draw an X across the top to decide where we're going to make a hole among the middle in which we can place the little drill hole in which for the spinner of the dreidel to be. It comes in right about the top here and makes it in the center and with another one here to drill we can make the next and so we're gonna kinda I guess I can remove my mask long enough to do this. So we can kind of get this little work done this way where we will just note how we can make good little Hanukkah dreidels. And don't get me wrong, I tell y'all, I'm not of the Jewish faith, but... I know people who are and have had friends who were and even people who were sometimes bought these from me out at my shows and you know I kind of like to make a little bit of everything to kind of share with everybody you know I've even made Buddha statues before because they were just kind of an interesting little thing to me so I'd say that there's just some little work we take on here and yes I did drop the pencil on the floor and you know one thing I did here was I took this cherry dowel since cherry is the closest thing to walnut decided to take that and decide how I'd kind of you know just use it to make the little spinners at the top and you have to compare your bits to how thick around the dowel is which I just did with this little bit so it is better also to start out with smaller bits and then work your way up through it with smaller bits as you go because that is the best way to kind of you know get the hole a little bit bigger and get yourselves a little bit more prepared for the next step and do believe I will take a safety precaution. I'm going to go over, reach over here and get a bar clamp. Although we really shouldn't do it, sometimes I do hold things in my hands while I'm drilling them and you know, but I'd say that probably for a public video, it's kind of best we don't try to do it that way because we kind of need to have things so they're going to look like we're being safe and not have to cause any safety police to have to come upon us but here is where I got that little X in the middle and one little thing we also do around here and I thought I had brought some scotch tape over here to do this with, and if so, don't know what I did with it. I'll have to stop long enough to find it, which sure enough I did find. Just had to reach over, take a step or two, and it turned up there. But we take off a piece of that, and where we only need the drill to go so deep into the wood we sort of make a little place right here at only the place where the depth of the bit is as far as what needs to go in the wood and take it along like just right there. And so We've got the hole in the middle, just like it is. 
Kanda, I say, I say, I say, oh, and kind of put another little place here where we kind of make in the next one, kind of, kind of make the mark the same way. It gets a little difficult to try to get it as much to the center as it needs to be here. Don't know why it's not working. Having this little issue here is what's happening. But I say that um, there's probably a chance we'll get it better as we kind of move along to the next it is getting to be a lot of trouble just to try to drill in this hole the way we just kind of need it to be. This one came in somewhat better, as much to the center as it needs to go. And we got one more left to take that will hopefully work the same way. And I say that there's probably little further steps we'll take to go up a little bit kind of gradually move our way up with bits that are fairly medium sized compared to what we're going to need in the end. So finally just make this little drill hole. And well I tell you what looks like something is going to have to be redone here because I am going to have to probably putty that up again just to make sure that I can get it more to the center like it needs to be. Might have to just putty those holes up and re-drill them, but we've got ones here we can work with as sure as we have them and sure enough we got that one as right as it needs to be might take a and yes we got it in its place surely the bit itself from the first time around has gotten it in the good place so I say, I say, as we get a little further along to this, we're going to try to get things a little more to where they'll just be in the right, proper place. And so... We've got some stuff here that is going to measure its best in the long run. And then I say, I say, there's a little thing or two we're going to have to settle around here to kind of take care of little matters into our own hands just as we need to settle them as they are. And for that matter, maybe put on just one glove to do this little step, but think we are going to re to try to putty in these little crooked holes to try to make a little extra room to get it to where they will be as centered as they need to be 
because it's hard to re-drill the holes when you've got another hole in the way. So, kind of got to make our way in there. We see how this is just kind of going to be a little dust we put down into this little thing kind of like um go around and put little good weight and work into all our little stuff we have and do and how we all just kind of make our little ways make it so we see and probably just as we say get a little bit more glue in there to make a little bit of a better putty in there and so kind of like working little ways in make it so we're going to kind of have bright little ways of noticing things good for us all for the better and the worst I say and as for now probably got the best little putty holes we need to make and then kind of that I'd say adds a little character in a way to them so maybe I'd say you know it doesn't take super glue long to dry so we can probably come back try to you know just reach the center this time try to be more towards the little center and i did get the bit a little crooked here so kind of got to get that back right in place And sure enough, it did not get it. But I made a little additional hole there. This time it did go to the center. Probably had to hold it with my hand a little bit to get it right in the right place where it needs to be. And... We'll try to do the same with this one here to try to get it right as it ought to be. And then try to see if maybe we can go ahead and get the biggest bit in because maybe this is where this one needs to take it. And I'd say by, by the way we spread that out a little bit, we sure got close enough to the center. So, might even just see how this fits, and it seems like from what I'm seeing, I'm able to get it to fit just about right to the center. So, I'd say for a little further notice, we're going to try to take care of that with this other one as well, try to get it where... It's going to be just in the type of shape where it's going to need to be. And so, kind of put it right along. And then we kind of got the work done just right. I say that there's probably a little step or two we take with this.
and one more. I'd say by this point, we're probably gotten it down good enough that we could hold the drill with our hand, but just be careful most of the time because it could go through the wood and go through your hand. So that's where we just kind of got to use our best cautions about things. I say that I have mislaid that dowel somewhere. Don't know what I did with it. I put it over here, as a matter of fact. And so maybe I'd say with a couple more, we might kind of need a slightly bigger bit to go in and take care of the job to where it's going to be kind of, oh, good. I got a good size here and take it all, oh, up the way. Oh, Lord, help us take it up the way. Okay. That's how we got that now. And with this kind of a way, take it again. And then take this final little step here. I think we're going to take this fine grit sandpaper and try to sand away those marks where we put the X. video we might kind of saw out the little ends of the dowels to put into the tops to make them so they are able to spin thank you for watching take care